All right, so uh, this might be a little bit of a mess of a video. We'll see here what turns out. Uh, it's going to be on on your carburetor and what what to use for an actual weed whipper for your bike. Uh, so this this is what I run. I try to use these guys whatever I can. That or the Z series home lights. Um, this is a uh, 285 BC 28 CC and then uh, what I run on on my bike there uh, might be a little dark over here yeah there's a, a 185 BC home light but uh Other good motors uh, on the topic home light here. You've seen the mighty light 28 28 or 26 SS. I don't know why it's SS. I believe it's a uh, 20 26 CC but um You can see that they're uh, pretty pretty trashy if it's saying uh, mighty light tells you something in itself who knows who this carb is uh r u y i n g yeah who knows but um and then it's got the restricted adjustments on it and uh and uh it's just not uh not much of a motor everything so is so lightly made it's it's pretty if it was made in the last 10 years or so then it's pretty well uh not going to work for for this to hold up to the abuse that that goes through them but um other good motors i like are uh the Ryans. Let's see these guys. And then uh I don't know if we'll, they're the same guys, but they have some of them have like a dark brown body on the front of them. So uh, this guy having uh there it goes. He has a tan or was probably white or whatever. But um they have kind of a funny carb on them. If I can find which one we are here. They're, uh, I'll show you the other one first. That's still. Oh, uh, which one are we? I know I got one in here that's. There it is. Alright, so this guy, you got your low end there, and then there's silicone over top of the high end you peel that silicone out of there and then that's what you're left with but you actually have a high adjustment I don't know why they're siliconed over to keep you from from adjusting them or what but uh, doing these you definitely have to uh, adjust things uh, this is this is going to be the same carb as what I run on my uh, uh, on my bike, Walbro, with a recycle a uh, uh, prime bulb, and that's even prime bulb. You don't really need so much, but uh, just make sure that it's it's one that recycles like that. And then a lot of the fuel can dump through and and come through, and it can take what it wants. Uh, one eighth, one and an eighth turn from a comfortable zero, and one and a half plus a sixteenth on my low. And that's what I adjust my carb to. And when I say a comfortable zero, uh, you're gonna turn your screw all the way in clockwise until it's at a comfortable nothing. You don't want to over crank it to to just where it just feels like it's it's there and it's it's at nothing 
and then back the high out right there one and an eighth turns and then back the low out one and a half plus about a sixteenth is what I'm doing and and you're gonna adjust now and then according to temperature and uh, and uh, humidity and 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 all that it, it's it's all all relative however you'd say it but um so you got these Ryan's that's it. they have the Walbro carb on them that's not adjust or is adjustable but it's kind of hidden there or whatever um, and then a lawn boy is has basically the same motor as what these Ryan's do but this is a 31 cc I'm sure they make 31 cc Ryan's but I don't have any I have three of the the 28's but um that's a good motor lawn boy I love the lawn boy I bought the thing just for the plastic on the housing and I think they're neat but um so feather light so this is going to be uh what's going on with weed eater since feather light bought them out uh I wouldn't recommend recommend using anything that feather light makes uh this is where are we at there? This is an actual weed weed eater engine prior to them switching over. Uh a lot heavier built. And uh I think I think they're they're a pretty decent motor really. I've never really put one of the actual weed eaters together. I just had the, got this one as parts and all that kind of thing. It's pretty well stripped down. But um so feather feather light basically anything made recently not going to be good they don't make anything to go to the shop anymore so if no point in looking for anything new you want to find something off craigslist someone saying you know ran two years ago ran a couple years ago whatever and and you got to clean the carb up uh, I don't have time tonight to, to go through a carb clean. Uh, I'll show you how to uh, clean a, a simple diaphragm carb. Uh, for the most part, I'd, I don't ever buy a, a carb kit for what I'm doing and that kind of thing, but I, a, lot of, a lot of my stuff I, I, I find off the road and, and, um, and beyond that, I can, I can usually pick up whatever I want for five, 10 bucks per Per motor, but um, uh, yeah, and then just to show you real quick. Actually, this is the weed eater. Sorry, big old thick jug on it, and then this is a, a, a 31 cc uh, Ryobi. I've never gotten anything over 28 cc's or so to uh, have have not enough compression that you can crank them over easy enough on the bike and get them going I'm sure they'd rip but um that's what I run uh, 28 and 28 and under 28 and 25's is what I usually always do anything anything less isn't gonna have the power and anything more is gonna have too much compression but um uh, uh, hope this answers a few questions on the carbs uh, feel free to ask questions I'm gonna do a carb clean video coming up here uh so we'll answer any questions then uh got this guy today husqvarna 261 chainsaw and what do we got here for cc's here 62 cc but um been been doing way too many projects here so that guy might end up as a bike might not we'll see but uh and uh you know, keep in mind that you you really shouldn't be spending over over fifty dollars at the most at the most if you can't find readily found things besides your motor for uh, a weed whacker bike. Otherwise, you know, uh, it might be worth saving your pennies and and buying yourself a moped and you know look around and try to find one that's decent. A lot of scammers out there, but a lot of good stuff too. So uh, yeah. 
subscribe if you're not. Thank you for subscribing if you are, and um, we'll, we'll get we'll get at you in a couple days here. All right.